In this video, I'm going to talk about Ethereum testnets, in particular Gurley, because something interesting is going on, namely speculation took over and you are able to buy and sell Ethereum Gurley testnet tokens, which should not be valuable at all, but people are speculating on them. The price made something like 4x in the last couple of days and everything is because Layer Zero, which is a great company building a lot of stuff, decided to do this uh, testnet bridge that allow you to easily bridge uh, tokens from the mainnet to the girly and back, which basically allowed to put a price on a ETH on girly, which is which was started with something like 10 cents on a dollar. So I'm going to go over that in a moment and show you everything, but I wanted to start with like general introduction to uh, testnets uh, because uh, this topic came up, there is this great thread by Tim Baker uh, about testnets. Uh, not a lot of people know about them, so I was covering different t uh, testnets because while I'm covering airdrops, many of them are uh, on testnets. You have to make certain actions on testnet to get started, but if you haven't focused on that before, then this is a quick reminder what are testnets. Basically, Testnets have a bunch of users in particular in mind. Uh, they are either for developers, uh, app developers, and not operators, takers, miners, and each use case is different. So client developers want a staging environment to deploy changes to before uh, mainnet network upgrades, ideally with some usage to trigger the code paths of the new changes. So you want to test everything. App developers want a staging environment for the product where it can ideally interrupt with other contracts so network effects matter for them. So that's why you want to have uh, normal smart, smart contracts from Uniswap, Aave to all the NFT marketplaces to be on the testnet as well to test everything that it actually uh, it, it doesn't break when you deploy that on Ethereum mainnet. Now, node operators want to make sure that when they run new software, things work as expected before they upgrade their mainnet nodes. For them, the code should ideally be as close to identical on testnets as mainnet. Early in Ethereum history, testnets were a single client only Rinkeby, could only run GIF, Kovan only parity. Uh, so Kovan is uh, right now deprecated. I will talk about different testnets in a moment, but other clients eventually joined, but the networks were designed with a single client in mind. Then Gerli came along uh, and was launched as the first native multi-client testnet, which was super useful to both uh, client devs and node operators. Uh, to do so, it used a simple consensus algorithm, click and gave most clients, teams and other folks a validator. Uh, so this is about the, uh, the, the girly, as you can see, uh, also team is talking about distribution methods. You had different faucets uh, for getting uh, girly if for free because that was the idea. Testnet is free, so you could you should basically be able to get as many if as you need for the app development. Um, and then when the merge came around, uh, uh, it felt like a good time to launch a new testnet. And this is when Sepolia launched. So Sepolia is the newest testnet on Ethereum. Uh, it addressed the supply issue by using a mintable ERC20 token for its beacon chain rather than SEP if, which allows validators to effectively mint SIPF post Chapella. So that should solve the supply issue. Uh, unfortunately, Sepolia isn't open to permissionless validators like Gurley is, and Gurley uses GoF for its beacon chain. Uh, so uh, they're trying to actually build a new testnet called Ephemery. Um, there's already a link to it, and this will provide an easy way for validators to test the setup and allow for very lightweight nodes given the network uh, restarts frequently. Uh, so this is the new testnet. Also, uh, the thing they're working for uh, on is Holy. Uh, which is planned to launch later this year, year and hopefully we can figure out these things before then. These things meaning supply and how to make everyone whole while using uh, Holy in the future. Uh, there's a, a bunch of suggestions already regarding Holy. Uh, the full name is coming from the station Holeski, Holesovica in Czech Republic. Uh, so this is the thing here. Uh, I will provide the link down below to the discussion, discussion if you want to, uh, but basically the new testnet uh, is in the preparation. Also, the main dev from uh, the girly from Eve Berlin actually is selling some of Eve girly because uh, she's quite unhappy with how the things turned out to be. And basically, she wants to make sure that the next testnet that's born 
is free and stays free uh, as, because especially for developers this situation is not really nice if they need to pay for fgirly just to test the applications it just doesn't make sense uh, so uh, th that's why uh, we will have this new testnet called holy which will probably take over girly sometime in the future uh, now for all the testnets if you want to see the list uh, there's a great uh, great thread on stack exchange i'll provide the link down below uh, so i've mentioned sepolia that's the newest you have girly uh, there's a rob stan a ring cabby and Kovan, those are the older ones that are not really used anymore. Uh, and there's a more more uh, description here down below with all the details as you can see you can go between different uh, different chains here uh, to see what are the differences so it all started with layer zero as i've mentioned and i will tell you in a moment how you can actually uh, take your girly eve and sell them buy them uh, it's all thanks to the to the to the layer zero labs so it's it makes sense to actually go through the thread uh, public goods by layer zero we're excited to introduce the testnet bridge as the first of several tools we we'll launch for the ethereum developer community uh, so this way you can get girly if quickly easily and begin testing as up without camping faucets or feeling stranded the problem with girly for some quite some time was that uh, you really needed to have uh, all this girly and often the only way to get them is waiting for different faucets uh, trying to get for for example 0.1 uh, girly if um, and if you need uh, more uh, for your smart contract which is more complex then basically you would have to wait uh, and it wouldn't make sense so it really makes sense to be able to access them but however this is like not probably the best solution because the best would be to just have a free test and that you can test as much as you want uh, especially if you have a valid needs for all that but anyway this managed to so the testnet bridge this is the website i will show you that in a moment uh, the initial price of girly eve is set to 10 cents and the pool is seeded with uh, 12,500 girly eve uh, so you have the pools uh, both are hosted on uniswap on ethereum and girly uh, so you can test those um, and basically you can build the infrastructure using the bridge so if you go to the website this is how it looks like uh, very simple you can swap between the uh, testnet and the mainnet and basically for example if i want to go from the testnet to uh, to the mainnet i'll basically put here 0.1 and then receive right away uh, the if however for now it doesn't really make sense because um, as you can see the gas cost on girly if is very high it's 82 uh, girly if uh, so i don't even have that balance on my account i have something like 0.2 if from different uh, from different faucets so even it wouldn't make sense for me uh, to really cover that however if i have something like for example 10,000 if right away i would get like 1.5 if and re remember that those 10,000 if on girly were supposed to be free worthless and you shouldn't worry about them so for example developers from the very early stages of ethereum have literally millions of girly if so for example maria uh, mentioned that she already started selling them uh, through the testnet and it really makes sense because this way she can uh, she can fund uh, some grants uh, on other testnets as well so my recommendation would be definitely stay away from buying this uh, especially if you're going for speculation it really doesn't make sense uh, because this testnet should be free and basically the testnets in general should be free for testing for developers uh, and shouldn't be made for the purpose of speculation uh, but if you want to play around the links will be down uh, down down below so you can try both sides going up and down uh, there's no really uh, upside to that uh, at the current stage especially that you have to pay so much in gas to go from one side to the other so unless you really have a lot of girly if uh, you probably won't gain anything but it's worth uh, really checking out because those developments are in the process of being made and we are going to have a new testnet on Ethereum to test stuff. So for everything else, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I cover a lot of DeFi, uh, NFT collections, Ethereum, as well as new chains and everything else in crypto. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.